First, there was the episode with Mr. Walfish's toque in the eaves trough. And we mustn't forget the visiting lieutenant you deep down and accosted on the tarmac. You understand a word this hoser's saying, Saint Bob? How the hell did she get to be principal when she don't even speak good or English like us Americans? You boys are too bloody stupid to make the grade down in the States, and your last hope is the school system of the Great White North, eh? You want to get out of grade 12? You better start learning what the metric system's all about! I've got three words for you. Go to... <laughs> Sir! There'll be no more cuss words out of you, you potty mouth mall rat. You're gonna learn the dual languages of my home and native land, and you're gonna savor my poutine! Because you're in Canada now, eh? And that'd be a cut. Okay, boys, cut. Very nice. Ooh, very nice. Oh, really? Was it too subtle for you? Subtle, no, but I do think the PM's gonna revoke your citizenship. Well, where am I gonna hide out for four more years of Bush in the States? That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Isn't that why you're here, Muzi? Oh, no, sir. That's why I'm here. Hey, how you doing? Craig, do not let this fool mac on your broad just because he's been in a few movies, kid. A few bad movies? Exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kevin. That was out loud, wasn't it? I'm so sorry. Oh. Come on, Muzi. Let's go make out in the trailer. For real? For real. And I cast her in two movies as God. What are you doing here, sir? Shouldn't you be home writing me a tune? My fault. I dragged him away. She's, uh, she's abandoning me tomorrow. Oh, that's right. London calling. What are you going to do before you leave the UK? See a movie in Leicester Square. Very, very good. Make sure you write this dude tons of lovey-dovey postcards. I need him in that frame of mind so he can write me a power ballad. I got to go back to work. You, I suggest you do the same. Beat it. All right. Not like I'll have anything better to do all summer, right? Craig, please, you said. It's a joke. It's me. It's joking. It's great. It's, it's a great opportunity, and I'll be fine. Honest. Less than 24 hours from now, and I'm on a plane to England. Obviously, um, I love your country. I like it a lot. You don't invade other countries. You kind of hang back, try to go unnoticed, uh, so you don't get invaded, which is very sweet. Right. So, um, just for a sec, can yeah. we talk about the movie? The movie? Come on, man. Are you Regis and Kelly? I mean, since when does signing off from Planet Earth? I'm Caitlin Ryan. Want to talk about the movies? How do you know the sign off from my old show? Mm. No, actually. Why? Well, if you'd listened to me the other day, you'd know, because I'm creepy. I told you I was a big fan, see? I've got a real thing for pretty girls who chain themselves to trees and say a boot. Uh, you are using real Degrassi kids as actors, yes? I do. We use real students from the school. We're shooting in the school, obviously, and I'm very interested in keeping it real. Uh, and so why set the film? You don't, you don't want to say the title, do you? Jay and Silent Bob go Canadian, eh? Right. Why make them go Canadian? Um, well, I don't know. If they if they ever needed a reason, I would say that the um, very alluring women of the true north would make any right-thinking man want to go Canadian, Miss Ryan. Yeah, I'm talking about you. And cut. That's lunch, everybody. <laughs> Liberty, you can buy bottles of those at the grocery store. Why buy them when they're here? Gladys. Yeah, you should have seen her yesterday with the mini corn. That was really gross. Dot's catering the shoot, okay? So until summer school starts, I'm here. And got Jay a job, too. So uh, what are you having? We have prime rib, chicken cordon bleu. Uh, I'd rather eat my own liver than accept food from you two scumbags. Manning, do I need to remind you that I'm holding a big, scary knife in my hand? Yeah? Watch your fingers. Did you take your pills last night? Don't ask me that. It's embarrassing. 
No, that was embarrassing. Sorry, I'm sorry. Jay, when I was born, Star Wars had already been out on video for 10 whole years. You're too old. We know there's laws to prevent it. I'm gonna marry Apollonia. She's the sugar in my maple, cheese in my poutine, the back of my bacon. The ick and pathetic. <laughs> Cut. Very nice, Sally. Ick and pathetic. Manny, nice job. You? Props. Thank you. Hair director wanted a real goth girl from 1988, I guess. He heard that, Marilyn Manson. I did, and it really hurt. I fought to cast you. Only trying to get Morris' ear to crack a smile. Mm. Why? Ash is leaving England, where she's going to find some way cooler guy with an accent, fall madly in love, and never, ever come back. Ugh, the angst. Thank God I'm not a teenager anymore. It's not funny. That's right. It's, it's, it's pathetic. What? Sir. What uh, flirting with disaster over here is trying to say is just go already, man. I don't know what you're doing hanging around the hallways of Degrassi all summer anyway. Just find some summer music program with Coldplay or some excuse, dude. But just go hang out with your old lady in London, you know? What could be better than that? Beats this. Can I speak with you for a second? The teenage girl thing has to stop. It was funny the first time, now it's just sick. Sick. But you have problems. I know. All in. Mm. The fool and his money. Soon parted. So, uh, did you work out the Apollonia thing, the kissing scene, or what? Sir, I don't know how many different ways to say this to you. Just because we're in Canada it doesn't make it any more legal for you to kiss a 14-year-old girl. Come in! But, but it's for fake. It's no in the show. No means no. Put it out of your head, sir. Just put... Hi! Hi. How are you? Oh, my God, is that for me? <laughs> No, I just found it lying beside your trailer. Oh, wise guy. Check it out, she signed it. Which means I can pop it up on eBay, catch a few shekels for it, probably? Thought you might like it. Like it? Mm -mm. When Muse gives me something, I kind of like it. You give me something, I love it. Thank you. Uh, I'm also looking for Craig. Craig. Muse, do us a favor, man. Could you go find that Creed kid? Sir, really? He's in the computer room. He sent him out like 10 minutes ago. Little dumbass. I mean... I'm on. Okay. Thank you. He's helpful like that. I feel kind of <laughs> awkward. You brought me something, I got nothing to give to you. You want some comic books? Well, Mallrats is my favorite Kevin Smith movie. Ah, you're lying. Mallrats is nobody's favorite Kevin Smith film. Uh, how about just a uh, Mallrats cap or a pen or something? You're serious? You're digging around for swag. <laughs> well, if you're really, really interested, I could probably dig up something a little more romantic than a pen or a cap, Miss Ryan. If you're interested, that is. Stepmom alert. Minimize, minimize. You can't even get to porn in here. Simpson is online officer. What about uh, travel porn? Money shots of pigeons fouling Trafalgar Square? Big Ben in the rain? So you don't think me going to England's the worst idea since whatever my last idea was? I think a summer away would be great for you, actually. I love it. Good. <laughs> I want comprehensive notes on every band you see and what it's like to work at the BBC. And I was worried you'd be a blubbering wreck today. I'm gonna miss you. I just... I have a feeling that this summer, us being apart, it won't seem that long at all. England used to be the end of the world. Land's end and then just ocean heading towards nothing. That's why we have airplanes. Yeah, but you'll be here on the other <laughs> side of nothing. So far away from me. That's why we have telephones. Might as well be there with you. I'm trying to get the Canadian flag into every shot in the movie because I'm a really big fan of the Canadian flag. So was Muse until he figured out it was a maple leaf instead of the wacky. Uh, you got something more Hollywood, right? More, more dishy? He, Kevin is not exactly dishy. I mean, he's uh, more self-deprecating. 
Funny. Funny's good. Especially when it's coming from a bona fide celebrity. Let's use this opportunity, okay? Take local heroes to a new level? A lower level. That's right. We're talking the same language. <laughs> Would you uh, call something up for me? We're on the three minute mark. If you look at it, more Democrats went to see Shrek 2 last year than voted in the election. So what's there to get excited about for a boot? That's going in. Don't worry about Tomas, I'll take the bullet. Hello, Caitlin Ryan. Yes, this is she. What? This guy buys an SUV yesterday, top of the line, 80 plus. He comes back today, buys one for the wife. Wow, amazing for you, not for global warming. I know, I know, as usual, you're my conscience. But honey, two SUVs. Um, I had a windfall today too, actually. Uh, a rep for a big, well, biggish uh, broadcaster in LA called. They want to revive Ryan's planet. Really? From up here? Down there. But, um, well, of course, I, I can't accept it. Leave my family. Your family? which includes a sexy little car magnate who loves you very much. <laughs> what an honor being asked, huh? Yeah. Uh, so Craig's in the garage, and he has something he wants to talk to you about. As a favor, try to listen. I'm supposed to be open, as in my mind. Okay, there's this great music school. In Camden. It's part of London. I'd be earning a credit for next year. You want to go to England? It's just for the summer, and he's got education money in his trust fund. Yeah, Ashley's dad is there, and there are, like, teacher types in my dorm. Just say yes. Just give in already. <laughs> Caitlin and I have thought of everything. Not six months ago, you were hospitalized, diagnosed bipolar. I'm okay now. I'm on my meds. I've been on them for months. Craig, no, I, I don't feel comfortable with you being thousands of miles away from me. What, what if something went wrong? Right. I mean, England probably wouldn't even let a psychopath like me in. Right? They already had one, Jack the Ripper, and mad cow disease. I'm not saying that, Craig. It... Listen, girl fiend, you and your so post-pubescent, he makes the Backstreet Boys look relevant boyfriend can kiss my yoga-toned ass. Listen, lady, there's some place that I won't even put my mouth. And that'd be a cut. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> that will uh, bring us out of the scene, people. And Paige. Yes, Mr. Smith, did you love me? Did you really, really love me? Oh, love's not the word, hon. That's a wrap for you today, thank you. You were very, uh, you were very. You guys are good, really good. Let's do the next one. Oh my God, lady, you were just flat out haunting me. You hang out on my set any longer, I'm gonna have to give you some lines, put you in the movie. Yeah, she better not get more lines than me, sir. Don't worry, dude. The movie's not called Caitlin and Silent Bob. Oh, but that's the movie you want to make. Oh, I bet. X-rated version. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was awkward. How are you? Great. Mm. I got a call last night from um, L.A. <gasps> a call from L.A.? No, I don't believe it. So I just wanted to thank you for setting it up. No need to thank me. Well, I do, because um, I said no. Um, no, wait, no. You didn't, you can't say no. I have a family. I have my own show. I mean, I can't just take off to LA. Not for nothing, but you gotta go back to acting globally. Never mind all this local stuff, and it's just heartbreaking to see you sitting around cobbling together puff pieces about visiting degrade celebrities that's beneath you. D-grade celebrities? Yeah. 
Like you. Wait. Melissa Seagrass, celebrity, huh? You are a sorry, sorry little man. Nuge. I, I have no process. I don't consider myself a, a filmmaker, really. I, I just a guy who gets to direct the stuff that he writes. Ah. And sorry, Caitlin. I'm locking you out of the edit suite on this one. What? Wait, you're taking the Kevin Smith spot away from me? Yeah, I want celebrity gossip, all right? Even non-celebrity gossip. Hell, if this guy spent the whole segment talking about his gay dog, it'd be more enjoyable than this. I, I, I try not to overthink it. It's just a communication. But it's his meeting, process right? as a filmmaker. Yeah, and I'm not laughing, all right? I'm not hearing anything about Bedford. Anybody else picks up on it. Every and time I hand possible, something into you, you rip it apart, apart or you change it. And that's what it's all about. Why? Why? Just kind of you tell me, Caitlin. Right? This isn't Ryan's alone, world. Right? Ryan's planet. Or that. It's local heroes. I quit. So it still needs lyrics, but what do you think? That's good. It's good. I got something for it. Ashley, please don't go. Please don't leave me. Don't fall in love with an ugly limey. Shut up. <laughs> okay, you can't you can't throw fries at a kid in a wheelchair. Greg. Let's go get our seats. Greg, listen. I know you thought I was being offensive, but honestly, I wasn't trying to hurt you. Yeah, well, you did. I mean, why do I take the stupid pills? You don't believe I'm better. There are conditions, though. <laughs> I'm gonna be calling the school to disclose your illness. I want you to call me every day, especially if something doesn't feel right. And I want Mr. Kerwin to keep an eye on you, too. Yeah, everything, anything. I can handle it, I can't, really. What you got in here? Every shoe I own. <laughs> you know, I thought this whole goodbye thing was gonna be so hard, but I'm so glad you're here and <laughs> you surprised me. Parting, so not sweet sorrow. I'm, uh, I'm coming. Tomorrow. But since it's a red eye, I'll be in London the day after that. You're just flying to London? That's what planes are for. You, you can't follow me to England. Ash, come on. Look, why, why are you here doing this? Are you off your meds? No, I'm not off my meds. I'm here because I love you and I have plans. Yeah, so do I, Craig. And you said you're okay with them. You said it repeatedly, so what is this? This is me trying to figure out how we're gonna spend the summer together. You think I'm having an episode. I don't know what to think. Look, I need space. I, I need to get away. Oh, okay. From you. Look, Craig, I love you. But ever since my dad's wedding, it's just been me worrying, me watching for signs, watching what I say. Why won't you just believe me? I'm better now. I'm okay, I am. <sighs> Email me, okay? I'll see you in September. It's local heroes. Like, like it's actually a good title. It was the single worst title since Hope Floats. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, because you think he would want me to add some substance to his crappy, unoriginal idea of a show. Like, if he was here right now, I would throw this drink with the ice cubes in his face. Listen to you, man, right on. This is the Caitlin Ryan. I remember the Caitlin Ryan from the DVDs, Ryan's Planet, that's the Caitlin Ryan. No, this is the Caitlin that produces fluff, like camping trips and high school blood drives and I need another drink. No, hon, you don't need another drink. You know, I need about 10 drinks to get to whatever plane you're on right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. So who's on Kevin's plane and you? 
Is that your very drunk, charming way of asking me if I'm involved with anybody, Miss Ryan? Because <laughs> No. No? I'm just actually asking if you're gay. Gay? What? <laughs> no, I'm not gay. Yeah. Is that what you think? Heavens, no. Just, why, do I come off as gay? Because I thought... No, I don't. <laughs> do I really? Right on. <laughs> Good to know. No, no, I'm, I'm very into chicks, actually. I like chicks quite a bit. So why aren't you married? Uh, well, um, I think I've just always been kind of waiting for that one woman uh, who I like to refer to as the Iris. Oh, my God. You're engaged to a woman named Iris, and I'm sitting here hitting on you? No, uh, no, calm down. It's way drunk. Do, do you know what it means to Iris in? <sighs> no, you wouldn't remember if you did. Um, it's a film term, and uh, it's like at the end of a Chaplin short. You ever see one of those? When Chaplin's walking away the camera, and the image is <laughs> going into shrinking into a little circle, irising in. And I think that I've always kind of been waiting for that one woman that just, you know, makes me iris in. I'm sorry, did you say you were, like, hitting on me before? Oh, my God, that was so awesome. What? Are you all right? I'm sorry. Are you, are you all right? I'm sorry. I didn't, I, are you okay? That was because I, that was awesome I'm for me. So Are you, Caitlin, wait. Come, uh... And here's a pitch. So? So? So you've been home for half an hour, you haven't said a word. I get it, you don't want to tell the dad all the private details, even if that dad did pay for the plane ticket. Ashley was happy, right? Thrilled. <laughs> Blissed out, and either of us can wait till I get there. Good. Yeah. All this excitement, gotta sleep. All right, buddy, get some rest. We got a big day tomorrow. We gotta get your luggage, money belt, some British pounds. Tally ho. Young love. And not quite so young love. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I don't know what kind of love that was, but that was good. Marry me. Have you been drinking? Yes. No. Yes, I just marry me. I want to come home to you. I want to wake up with you. I want to focus all my attention on you. I thought you'd never ask. Yes. I don't think you could keep a straight face during a wedding mass. <laughs> Sad but true. Uh, we could always steal Spike and Snake's idea and go beach. Better, but I think they're still trying to pay off the tent. Oops. So basically, it was really brilliant of me to quit my job. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> hey, you ready? You got everything? Uh, your camera, passport. All my phone numbers, Ashley's dad's number. Yes, for the 400th time. Stop worrying. We're all grown up. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you. You know that? Yeah. Have a great trip. See you in September. Yeah. We're not going to the airport. It's been a change of plans. OK. So, your big screen debut, huh? Are you nervous? You seem a little nervous. <sighs> it's normal when you're planning a wedding, right? What? I asked Joey to marry me, and he said yes. <laughs> Congratulations! That is so amazing. <laughs> All right, folks, time to shoot. Shoot, whoa! 
This is why I came up here to shoot. Speaking of which, chance to catch Canadian chicks embracing like that. Even if the chicks are already spoken for. Christine, you may be spoken for. This one, though? Ask Joey to marry her. I've got to call Emma. Excuse me. Seriously? Yeah. Um. Um. Wow, I must be the worst kisser in the world, because. No, Kevin. No, to, I. Uh, just... You know what? I'm sorry. I've I've got to set the for a shot for the day. So I'll just I'll peep you out there. Hey, uh, Muse. Jay. Yeah, I'm not getting freaked out by this lame hide-and-seek game. I'm gonna eat your breakfast, man. Hey! <laughs> My arm! Ow! Craig? Spinner, get off of me. Dude, what are you doing here? I thought you were in England. After the song's done for Kevin Smith's movie. He's kind of bending the rules a little bit. He's letting me hang here. Oh, my eggs are done. Oh, nobody knows, okay? Lips are, uh, steeled. Um, dude, I just want to say about Ash and the whole band thing. Oh, it's been, it's in the past. It's like, it's water under the bridge. Okay, um, she was a good contribution though. I mean, she knew her stuff. No, she was a virus. Gets her way inside. Everything's okay for a bit, then bam, she rips it all apart. Well, I'm gonna be in the boiler room. I got work to do. But, uh, lip sealed, my friend. Right? You are the ones who are the filthy potty mouths. These guys keep talking about the periodic table. Mrs. Hoffman, he went into my purse, stole my tampons, and did, did this. Uh, Mrs. Joey, that'd be your line, hon. Sorry. Brain dead over here. I would not disagree with you. Cut. Okay. We'll be going again, kids. Aaron. See, uh, lunchbox, they're crushing on a TV lady, and then, um, she went and got engaged to a used car salesman of all people. Um, can you take your hand off my knee? What? Uh, what? Oh, what was I doing there? Naughty. Naughty you. Never be a single place. There'll never be a single place I can see your face. I, but I know from, I know from fate. <sighs> Scene twelve, take eighteen. Have you heard the old? Okay, cut. Take twenty-six. Take thirty-five. Have you heard about the old-fashioned Cajun Kneed? Wrong! Take 36. Have you heard about the good old-fashioned Canadian strap, Jason? Okay, cut. It's not Jason. It's his name in real life. It's Jay in the movie. Good. It's three lines. Can't you get through three lines? I know my lines, Kevin. I'm just... Yeah, after 36 takes, I'm a little bit flustered. You know what? I'm a little bit flustered, and I would almost rather have anyone else in this room do the part except you. As a matter of fact, hey, a uh, slight girl, why don't you jump in there and do the part? Do I get paid? Even better than that. You swing by my trailer, we'll do a little open mouth kissing. Uh, no. Don't listen to this fool. It's real easy. Just jump behind there, start acting like you're not up in your head thinking about wedding gowns. Where are you going? Maybe you should start acting like a director and not some jealous boyfriend. Yeah, well, maybe you should try acting like an actress instead of whatever it is, the TV, the... She's gone. Take five. Where's the food? 
Let me tell you something. Do you play Silent Bob for a reason? Get off me. Fair enough. There'll never be a single place where I feel safe, where I can escape from you. Well, Jay, that doesn't cut it for me or any other woman at this school. So from this Kevin, point on, I want you to here? just oh stop. God. Cut. Okay, problem I was having was I was writing a love song, which should be like a like a breakup, like leaving high school is breaking up with your teen years. What do you think? I think you gotta do what you gotta do. Craig, what are you doing here? Oh, um, Mr. Smith. Yeah? Oh my God, who are you now? I'm, I'm Spinner, I'm a friend of Craig's. Well, Spinner, friend of Craig's, what is Craig doing here instead of being in England where he's supposed to be? He's staying here on set, he's sleeping here. You told me you knew that. I knew that. Spinner, the only thing I know is that making a movie with a bunch of high school kids, way worse than making a movie with Ben Affleck. Way worse. Take one of these. Great, 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 come in. I'm still working on the lyrics. Let me just play what I... You called Joey, Spin? You said... He was concerned. I'll come home when I'm done. What happened, Craig? I have to prove to you that she's wrong, because she's... Cause she's wrong, and I am not crazy, Joey. And if I finish the song, I can prove that. If I, if I finish the song, I, I'm not. Let's go home, Craig. I think you know what you can do with Tessa Campanelli's address, Snake. <laughs> oh, uh, that's Joey coming in the door. Yep. Okay, bye. Uh, invite list is shaping up. Remind me. Did I or did I not tell you that sending Craig off to England was a bad idea, Caitlin? Whoa. Don't make it my fault. Oh, no? It was your idea. You supported it. Now he and Ashley broke up. And you know what? He's been living in the Degrassi boiler room. OK, we're going upstairs. Aren't you at all curious as to why he lied? Felt he couldn't trust you? Trust me? I'm the only one he can trust. Joe, you fly off the handle. And you don't think. You never have. Like, up and, and quitting your job. Why? Oh, OK. Thanks for mixing up the fight, Joey. And as for Craig, Kevin and I saw what you couldn't. His heart was breaking. Well, you know what? I am more concerned about his mind right now because it is a hell of a lot more fragile. And look, if you want to consider yourself part of this family. Don't pull the family card. Because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even have a roof over your head, remember? Only person I want to talk to. Come on. show. Uh, I meant that as a donation, not a duet. All right. Huh. Beggars can't be choosers, huh? Skinny. Craig. Greg, I'll tell you what. Play another hour and uh, I'll split where we rake in 50 50. Throw in a place to crash and it's a deal. Done.
Did Craig leave with Caitlin? No, he's upstairs sleeping, where you should be, Miss Jeremiah. He's not there, and he forgot to take his medicine. Teach you to play if you want. We don't do soup kitchens, Craig. Oh no, I uh, I bought this. It's my treat. Soup kitchen people, social workers, they don't want to control us. I know. I mean, I've got the stepdad, right? Gave you a bunch of limits, right? Bunch of expectations. Look, you don't need that. You won't get that here. No rules, my friend. None. Is it Kevin now or Silent Bob? What brings you back to my set, Miss Ryan? Uh, I just wanted to thank you for the pep talk last night and um, being a friend. I am a friend. For now. The next time you show up in my room, two in the morning, I'm getting a second base at least, maybe third. <laughs> Deal? Deal? Jay, if you really love me, then you're gonna have to wait till I'm 18. I'd wait forever, my love. What grade are you in? I'm a freshman. Freshman? No, is there any seniors up in this piece? Come on. Why should you be directing? Like I ever direct. What kind of movie is this anyway? It's my movie, all right? And in my movie, Kevin Smith gets to dance with Caitlin Ryan. Oh, oh snap! Canadian Ninjas Lunchbox! Hip hip! Scoogin! I'm looking for Caitlin. God. Listen, I know I should have called, but by the time I woke up, Spike to let me come in and crash. Just forget about that, okay? I can't find Craig anywhere. I think he's run away again. What? Look, I, I called his friends. I've called the police. I, I even called Ashley in London. Okay? They, they haven't seen him. He's just disappeared. He even stopped taking his medication. Okay, well, we'll find him, all right? You and me. How about this for the chorus? Cause if we stay together, my whole life will come apart. Cause... I think you should just play, okay? Oh, okay. I'll just play. La 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 la. Hey, what the hell is that? I'm working on my song. What stupid song? For the Kevin Smith movie? Look, when you're with me, you don't play your song. You follow my lead and do as I say. Is that clear? <sighs> Gotta make enough to eat, right? Three dollars and 82 cents. You know what that gets us? These are hard times, and I think with the weather, and I don't know, maybe the economy. Hey, hey. You want to ask him for money? Why ask when I could take his wallet? Well, <laughs> we can't just rob somebody. You know how much his car is worth? And we can't even afford dinner. Wait, Skinny, stop. <laughs> What was 
back for? Guitar. No, 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 my guitar, please. It looks more like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a lot of meals after that. No, 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 not my guitar. No, 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 please, not my guitar. This isn't being too intrusive. No. I just I had a few hours till call tonight, and I felt like maybe I should stop by and see if you guys heard anything. Craig still isn't home. Mm. We're dying over here. Just wish we could talk to him, you know? Two minutes, anything. Well, do you think maybe a public appeal made by a Z-grade celebrity might help in any way? I mean, it's worth a shot, right? This is fine. This is it's just like home. It's just like mom made. This is fine. This is fine. I need your help finding uh, this teenager. His name is Craig Manning. Yeah, I know that guy, eh? It's Kevin. Community school, hey. And he's been missing since yesterday. This is his, his dad, Joey. <laughs> Craig. It's Kevin Smith. I'm writing a song for his movie. Oh. It's we Kevin Smith. You. Just want you back. Okay. Just. I'm writing a song for his movie. Here, listen. With us. There'll never be a single place where I feel safe, where I can escape from you. If anyone knows him, huh? please like call 1555 missing. Yeah? So thanks for dropping me off. That was really cool of you. Sure you want to hang out tonight? We're shooting the big football game scene where Jay saves Apollonia from the soul sucking cheerleaders of Kingsburg. I should really be there for when Joey brings Craig back. Yeah. Joey. Thank you. What? Everything. I'm sorry, I have to try this again. Mr. Smith? James Tiberius. The testy first AD wants you on set, as in immediately. Tell him I'll be there in a couple. Go. Adults are talking now. That uh, AD is kind of a man eater, so I'm going to head off. Hey, just don't settle, all right? You know, for somebody else's idea of what the real world is. You're just far too cool a chick for that. Pick your own real world. You deserve that much. Guitar. He took my guitar when I said, when he, he knew that it was mine. Joey, Joey, Joey can help me get my guitar back, can't you, Joey? Listen, he stole it, my friend. No, not my friend. Does Caitlin hate me? Why would Caitlin hate you? But because I make you fight and I run away and I, I, I always hurt you. Like my dad hurt me. You know, my dad used to hit me. Oh, but you just think I'm crazy. Everyone no, just no, I don't, thinks I'm crazy. I don't crazy. think you're crazy. You're ill, OK, Craig? It's the bipolar acting up. You blame everything on me being crazy. I won't. <laughs> I won't. I promise you never again, OK? I just can we get you home, Craig, please. Joey, my guitar. What did I do with my guitar? Just help me find it, please. Sleep. I got him to agree to go to the police first thing and give a description of this skinny. He calls himself that anyways. He calls himself Snake or Wheels. I just hope this guy's neck is skinny enough for me to break. He might be mentally ill too, Joey. Remember that. I and mean, maybe he's another lost Craig. Oh, come on. You don't see Craig beating up strangers in the street, do you? No, he just beats you up at home. 
Forget it. What are we doing, Joey? Fighting, like usual. All we ever do is fight. I mean, Craig's upstairs, safe and sound. How can we get married? Really? I mean, I love you and Craig and Angela so much. But this, it's just. It's not what it should be. So are you uh, going to take that job offer in L.A.? Thinking about it, yeah. As president and most popular dude, you understand my surprise that our Yankee friends here beat me for valedictorian. Is that the kid we passed through in the locker? Yo, Edmund Fitzgerald Secondary, me and Lunchbox would like to thank you as Canadians for treating us like one of you guys. Y'all talk stupid, but you have great beer. Let me just add, because heavens, be, be it your blizzards, or your bonhomme de neige, or your courier de bois. Hey, what kind of baby talk is that? That is just, dude! You made me and my fallen hetero life made feel like a big part of your home and native land and, seriously, made this the best bleeping year of our lives! Woo! God. Degrassi, that's a wrap! Thank you for all your help. You? <laughs> you were heaven on earth, love. Can I get out of my way? Sir, why always have to get the last line in? Uh, why does it bother you so much is my question. Because you're always trying to upstage me. Oh, look at me, I'm Silent Bob. Oh, look at this. Dude, I took the cup off. And I knew that. Just... Mr. Manning. Kevin. Well remembered, sir. <laughs> oh, hello. Congratulations. Thank you, Miss Ryan. And now congratulate me. Why would I be doing that exactly? Because <laughs> I said yes to the LA offer. No. Ryan's planet will spin once again because of you. Come here. <laughs> Joey, where are you going? Party's just getting started. Home. Sorry, Caitlin's home. We're supposed to talk, remember? It goes both ways. <laughs> I don't want her to go. I know. I know. But I'm here. And Angie's here. And we're not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Like to raise a very simple toast to Degrassi. Nobody said it would be easy to be a kid, but growing up's tough when you think of the things you did. Everybody's always trying to show you the way and telling you to work and all you want to do is play. And your friends want to hang, go out and have a blast, laughing and they joking at the back of the class. And you want to dance, have a good time and relax, sitting with your friends and your favorite tracks. I'm saying sometimes life is a place we don't get. You know you'll make it through, just believe and you'll set an example of what you want to be, what you want to see. Use your imagination, be free.
Life is a place we don't always get. You gotta take a risk and you gotta make a bet. And it seems sometimes that things are kinda messed. But hang on and don't let yourself get stressed, just breathe. Cause it's up to you what you need. Whether you follow, whether you need, believe in your dreams and you'll get where you're going. See what you need, guaranteed you'll be flowing. People come and go, it's a part of the game. But your true friends always gonna be staying the same. No matter what'll happen, you will know what is true. And guess what? I know that, I know that. I know I can do it.